to the ideals that we had and what drove me to our society. I have the most incredible staff over here who gambled everything for a girl who couldn't win a seat four years ago. And we serve this community in a way that they have not seen. And it is our hope that the next Senator for Council County will have that same passion and love that we have. Because I'm going to tell you, every person in this county deserves to be served. And we did that. I did call and leave a message with my Democrat opponent that I would be conceding. Now, if we somehow can pull out the numbers, that is awesome. But we're just not seeing a path to victory at the moment. But I just want to give honor to God because i got to tell you, you win and lose by holding your head high and knowing that you can lay your head on that pillow and be proud of everything you did. And I am proud of every single one of you in this room. I would not change a single thing. We have not participated in the divisiveness of this country. We have only had a positive message to spread. What I do ask is that you all stay engaged. We need $12 million to bring clean drinking water to the people in our community. There are so many needs to be done, and I thought I was well positioned to do that. Whatever I cannot get done by December 31st, we need to expect and demand that the next senator serve this community because these needs are real and it takes everyone. So again, I want to thank you for what you've done. I would like to ask my brother Mike to lead us in prayer and especially to give honor to God who has given us blessings. I got four kids. I'm going to Mona Shores Friday night. So Portage Northern can have their victory in the regional finals. Life is good. I know it's not the outcome we wanted, but I have a wonderful husband and children. I can't ask for anything better than that.